Matt Eisman is a man of many talents. He followed in his father's footsteps through medical school. Then he decided actually being a comedian would be more fun. In addition to his comedy, he's a recognized TV host with such shows as The American Ninja Warriors and Clean House. He acts in his spare time and is now adding producer to his resume for his first show called Saved by Design for the Style Network. Dr. Matt Eisman has been selected to be the 2014 recipient of the Invisible Disabilities Association's But You Look Good Inspirational Honors Award. Matt's been chosen because as someone who lives daily with rheumatoid arthritis, he inspires others in the midst of their challenges and triumphs. Matt combines his experience as a physician and his humor as a comedian to bring insight and laughter to others on their journeys of illness and pain. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Eisman. Thanks. I gotta say, what an honor to get this award from Ed Green, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh, I grew up here in Denver, and I'm not gonna lie, I imagined in my life winning a lot of awards. Uh, I never thought it would be one for living with rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, but I will tell you, when I was diagnosed with RA, uh, the last thing I thought is that I would ever win an award for looking good doing it, because I know it's hard to believe, because I look, I, I don't think I look, I, I actually call this the, but you look damn fine award is what I call it. But <laughs> it was 12 years ago uh, that I received the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis, and I will tell you, when the doctor told me that diagnosis, my first thought was thank God. And I know that, that may not make sense to a lot of people in here, um, but I will tell you, it wasn't that I was grateful to be told I had a chronic autoimmune disease for which there is no cure. I was relieved to know what was causing my body to fall apart. Because in the year and a half leading up to that diagnosis, I did, my body fell apart. It, it started with pain in my right index finger. I was 30 years old living in Venice Beach in the best shape of my life, working at a Gold's Gym where Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jean-Claude Van Damme, and The Rock work out. Weights were magical at that place, but the acting classes stunk. I, <laughs> I had pain in this index finger, and over the next 18 months, it spread to other joints in the hands and in my feet in my back and neck. The pain and stiffness got so bad, I w there were days I had trouble getting out of bed. I, uh, fatigue started setting in. There were days I was sleeping 12 to 14 hours a day, which sounds awesome, but I always felt tired. I went from being a lifelong athlete, I played baseball in college, to being unable to work out at all. Over 18 months, I gained 55 pounds. I fell apart. I got into the worst shape of my life. It was to the point where I was sleeping with a whiplash collar on my neck, and I was shuffling around walking. I became an old man. So when I was told I had rheumatoid arthritis and I started treatment, it was a godsend because I knew what I was facing. And once I started treatment, it was like I was given my life back. And that's why being up here, I feel like I really am just taking credit for other people's work. Uh, and that's my doctors, uh, Dr. Rich Meehan of National Jewish and Dr. Lillian Sidlow of Cedar sinai in LA. They're the ones who diagnosed me, who started me on my treatment regimen. They're the ones who've really allowed me to look damn fine. <laughs> but it is one of the things, yeah, you can, you can clap for me or for them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume it's me. But it is one of the reasons uh, that I'm so thrilled to be here with the Invisible Disabilities Association. And because I'm very high profile and open about my rheumatoid arthritis. And one of the reasons was when I was diagnosed, I didn't know anyone with RA. It's a disease primarily of women and older women. I didn't know anyone who was out there. And for a lot of people who are newly diagnosed with, with many ailments, you always see the people who are struggling the most. And you don't see the people, like many people in this room, who are getting through their lives daily, looking good doing it. And that's why I think it's so important to be here and to raise awareness and to let people know you're not alone. And I think I say this about RA, but I'm sure we could say this about most any disease that we're talking about tonight. And that is you might have rheumatoid arthritis, but it doesn't have you. And that's why it's so important to live your life 
and look damn good doing it. So I want to say thank you for this award. I'm going to go back to hosting American Ninja Warrior and looking damn good doing it. Thank you, guys.